want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. Raiders defensive lineman Carl Nassib makes perhaps the boldest play of his career, coming out as gay to the NFL and the world in this month's Top 5. Welcome to a special edition of Know This. Let's count down and get to the biggest stories this Pride Month. Starting at number 5, a gay couple in Wisconsin gets the last laugh when they're told to take down their pride flag. After their neighborhood in Ritzine banned all non-American flags on homes, Memo Facino and his husband Lance came up with a better idea. The duo set up six floodlights beaming the colors of a rainbow onto the front of their two-story leading into the Pride Month. The display quickly went viral, gaining worldwide attention. The couple says they love their community and weren't trying to stick it to anyone. They were just determined to show their pride without breaking any rules. At number 4, a transgender weightlifter from New Zealand makes history and is ready to take the Tokyo Olympics by storm. Weightlifter Laurel Hubbard will be the first transgender athlete to compete in the Olympics, competing in the weightlifting category for women over 87 kilograms or 192 pounds. The 43-year-old athlete transitioned to female in 2013. That was two years before the International Olympic Committee's 2015 rule change opened the door for trans athletes to compete. As part of the IOC's 2015 rule, transgender athletes must have a testosterone level below a certain level to qualify for a spot on their national team. In a statement, Hubbard said that she's, quote, grateful and humbled by the kindness and support that has been given to me by so many New Zealanders. Number three, Raiders players Carl Nassib makes NFL history for coming out as gay, the first active player in the league to do so. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. The 28-year-old defensive lineman revealed his true self to the world, saying that it took an agonizing 15 years to get to this point. I actually hope that like one day, videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm gonna do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. For starters, Nassib is donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project, which focuses on suicide prevention efforts amongst LGBTQ plus youth. Nassib is getting support from the league. Commissioner Roger Goodell saying in a statement, we share his hope that someday soon, statements like Nassib's will no longer be newsworthy. Free agent Ryan Russell, who came out as bisexual in 2019, says this is a huge movement for professional sports. The more that leagues like the NFL, like they did yesterday, like they did yesterday, um, acknowledge and encourage and support, you know, we'll see that trend start to set in with other athletes. At number two, the VA is working to offer gender confirmation surgery to the nation's transgender veterans. Departments of Veterans Affairs Secretary Dennis McDonough made the announcement at a Pride celebration in Orlando, saying, quote, it's the right thing to do. McDonough says the move is part of an effort to overcome a dark history of discrimination toward LGBTQ service members. The National Center for Transgender Equality estimates there are 134,000 transgender veterans and 15,000 transgender individuals serving in the military today. The Biden administration has been expanding protections for transgender individuals in the service, unlike Trump, who banned them from serving. Biden overturned that ban just days into his term. And at number one, President Biden brings pride back to the White House while praising the contributions of LGBTQ plus Americans. At the beginning of June, Biden issued a proclamation recognizing Pride Month after it went largely ignored by President Trump for four years. And at the White House for the first time ever, a tribute to LGBTQ plus icons and historic pieces from the Stonewall riots, as well as the tragic AIDS epidemic. Another history making moment this Pride Month. Happy pride! Vice President Kamala Harris became the first sitting vice president to march in a pride parade. Harris, with first gentleman Doug Emhoff by her side, wore shirts saying love first and love is love. That's this month's top five. Happy Pride. What was the biggest story for you? Tell me in the comments below and be sure to follow our page for more news. We'll see you right back here next time for more news you need to know.